We are here at Charcuterie Marie with Marie Grasser. Mm -hmm. We are making, and I already actually did make, a charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. We have some French cheeses that we have. Mm -hmm. What were they again? So we have our camembert, our uh, Comte, and then Roquefort. Okay, so we have different French cheeses to celebrate the whole Paris Olympics yes. French. Yes. We have three French wines now. Mm -hmm. um, I went to the Old Port uh, Wine Merchants. That's mm -hmm. on Commercial Street in Portland. It is a I literally had to take notes with <laughs> pronouncers because I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> it's a Sauternes. We have a Cote du Rhone and a, oh, Rosé. That's the third one. <laughs> that one I knew how to say. <laughs> but I took, literally, I just, I couldn't say any of these. But so I figured we'd like a little wine and cheese pairing. Love because that. Why not? French wine, French cheese. Absolutely. Seemed like the best thing possible. So I think we start with the, hmm, which, which cheese do you want to start with? I feel like camembert is a good one to start with, okay. and then we go, because I think the Roquefort goes well with sort of that sweeter dessert, so okay, maybe so we'll we save that, that for the end. Okay, yeah. so we do camembert first. Yeah. What do you usually do with your camembert when you're eating it? I'll have... Oh. <laughs> Make a mess. Great. I will do some of the honey. I will do fig jam, sort of any of those sort of like sweeter jams are so good with it, for I'm sure. I'm going to mess with this, but I'm just going to put it back there. <laughs> I usually do definitely the honey or something yeah. sweet usually, and I yeah. usually like a strawberry or some kind of fruit just to like double dip on the sweetness. Love that. Well. Sounds so good. And then which wine are we doing with uh, this? We are doing the, where did I say this on my nose? Our the, the red or one, the red, red one. one, the Cote de Rhone's. And the reason this is good, here's what they said at the Old Port Wine Merchant, it's a soft fruity red. Mm -hmm. It's from the Rhone Valley in France. And is a smooth and fruit the smooth and fruity flavors complement the earthy and nutty notes of the camembert. Mm -hmm. So they also said it's a medium body, which can amplify the flavors of the cheese without overpowering it. Lovely. So thank you to them for helping me because I knew none of those things. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm. Mm. That's very good. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mm. No, really I get that. Smooth. Yeah, it's smooth, but mm -hmm. it's not like I can still taste the cheese. Mm hmm Because sometimes there's things that are like too much where you can't taste. Mm hmm I get totally. that. Totally. I so think that's the best thing too, is it really sort of brings out those flavors more of than masking them or like overpowering. Yes. They just pair really well together. Mm, that's great. Mm hmm I feel like sometimes <laughs> you're like people always say that something goes with something and I'm like, sure. Mm -hmm. Like, I mm -hmm. don't know. But I like when I can go somewhere and ask people questions because I just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, I know, I just, when you're buying wine, I don't know about you, but I just do the thing where I look for the biggest price difference, mm. like, on sale. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, not even look at the actual price. I'm like, okay, this one is $10 off. This yeah. one's $6 off. Like, yeah. what's the biggest sale price? Definitely. And that's what I'm, like, looking for, generally. Yeah. And then you the always get to that point in your life where you go from kind of that, you know, your college years where you've had mm -hmm. sort of those wines, and then finally you're like, okay, we'll go for something a little nicer, but then you're you slowly get Moscato. there. Was that yours? Was <laughs> they had it on sale at one point, and it was, um, Four dollars a bottle, and I oh bought my gosh. a case and a half. Oh my gosh! I took it on the public bus. Yeah. <laughs> I hated sweet wine after that oh because no. I was like, can't do it anymore. Yeah. It's disgusting to me now. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, that's never going to happen again. Oh, amazing! So, amazing. Okay. Next, we're going to do is the Comte with the rosé. Mm -hmm. So that's this one right here. Yes. I'm going to do prosciutto with this. Do you think? Yeah, definitely. I think anything sort of that brings out mm. more of those. Are you just eat the whole piece of prosciutto? Like, like, do you no, just usually I'll just rip it a little bit. Oh, Unless Aaron. you're really in the mood and then you just making a mess. And then you go for it. <laughs> Dropping everything. Okay, so, so this is with the rose. Okay. It's gonna be our stemless wine glass over here. Love that. And they said this is from the Provence region. All heard of that, I think, at least I have. For sure. Um, pairs well because the rose has fruity notes of apricots and melon, which pairs mm -hmm. well with the floral and nutty notes of the Comte. And it's also great for summer because it's crisp and refreshing. And fun fact, mm -hmm. Provence makes some of the best, if not the best, rosés in the world. Really? I found that out. Rosé so. is one of my favorites for the summertime. Oh, perfect. So I'm excited Cheers. to try this one. Cheers. Sounds great. Mm. So it's good. Great, not, too, not sweet either. Sometimes no. they're very like sugar forward, and this is not that. It's so true. And I feel like I tend to go towards drier wines or mm. anything of that nature. So really yummy. Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's weird how they, I mean, like, we sound so snotty, but, like, it's weird how they pair. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think it's making us official connoisseurs, really. I mean, <laughs> cheese and wine. Connoisseur. That sounds French. I think so. It is now. It must be. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> honestly, I went to Canada and kept saying I was in France, so. <laughs> Who am I to know yeah. anything? <laughs> My friends are like, Aaron, we're in Canada. When we mm -hmm. come back across the border, say Canada, not France, because oh my gosh. Th they're gonna not let us back in. And I was like, whatever. <laughs> oh no! Like, That's so funny. People are not gonna be shocked. Yeah. I, like, it's it is what it is. <laughs> okay. And the last one, mm. this is this little bottle right here. Mm -hmm. This is a dessert wine, which I think a lot of people know. These tend to be very, very, very sweet. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Yeah. That's like yeah. I didn't have. So you're supposed to have like the tiniest, littlest glasses for these kind of things. Yes. We have it in this one. I didn't have tiny little glasses. <laughs> I was not going to buy tiny little glasses because, yeah. I mean, does anybody have those? And honestly, it's like you need more than just a tiny little yeah. glass. So like, for, exactly. So <laughs> and it, these are gorgeous, by the way. Oh, yeah. I love Thank the you. choice of glassware. Thank you. <laughs> so this is a so turn. I literally typed so turn <laughs> with a Z. Perfect. This is uh, gonna go with the Roquefort, which is the blue yes. cheese. Yes. So again, has sort of that sweet and then salty. So anything that we can pair with it, that's more of that. And that was the whole reason they said you want this. You want something yeah. that's complete opposite. It's like a really sweet dessert wine yeah. with this really salty cheese. Yes. Yes. I think I'm just gonna eat this. And they said it's from the uh, the Bordeaux region. Oh. Huh. So I mean, another very Fancy. famous region yeah. of <laughs> France. Yeah. So cheers. Cheers. One more time. Oh my gosh. That's the best combo yet. That is so smooth and just completely. Mm. They work together. Yeah, it takes away from that super salty and has such a nice like finish at the end of it. That's incredible together. Really good. That's really good. They're really like. I'm going back for more. They're like sisters. Mm -hmm. They're like really like that. That hot and cold kind of like, well, I guess I'm salty <laughs> concept mm -hmm. of like, they're just going. Mm -hmm. If you ask my sister, I'm the sweet. She's the salty, I think. <laughs> she's right over there, by the way. So she's hearing all this going down. Give me a sip. You want one? I do. Mm -hmm. We have more glasses. You can totally have some. I do. Mm -hmm. mm. She can have mine, that's too. That's very good. Really? Mm. Wow. I think that's my favorite. I agree, actually. So far. I'm glad we stopped with that at the end. I know. I know. That was great. Delicious. Well, thank you. This was great overall. Well, we had a great little wine pairing. Yeah. We made a charcuterie board. Yeah. All the fun things. Also, all these bottles, well, these two are like under 20 bucks. Oh my gosh. So, this Super one was a little bit more affordable. expensive. This was 25. Mm -hmm. So, it is so a little bit more just it. it's a dessert wine. Worth it. And they last longer because you usually don't drink as much. Exactly. For and those they, tiny glasses that yeah, exactly. some people use. <laughs> I mean, exactly. I mean, yeah. It's going to be boring if you have your tiny glass. But yeah. yeah, because of that, it's usually, but I also, I was told they last longer a little bit in the fridge mm. because I think it's something to do with the higher sugar content or higher alcohol content. Okay. Probably not going to last on those people longer than that because you're just going to drink it. Right. But um, <laughs> either way, they're not that expensive. Like I said, mm -hmm. I think this one was four, $15. I mm -hmm. think this one was... 17 or 18 and then this one's 25 so like none of these were like 50 or 80 dollar bottles of wine they're yeah. all pretty cheap yeah all available to get and like i said we went to the old port wine merchants so Amazing. thanks to their the help best, yeah. thanks to you for like yeah. helping me with all this and teaching how to do it it was great so like, fun it was great so fun it's awesome yeah well we're gonna keep doing this yeah <laughs> and doing ourselves off camera now so we can have some more of the so turns and enjoying ourselves. Love that. Thank you. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Cheers. Cheers.